CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good Thursday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. Right now, investigators are trying to figure out how a 17-year-old, Candace Crizan, ended up shot and killed while with friends. Police found the teen in the backyard of a home on Tuesday. They say everyone involved has been cooperating with the investigation. The teen went to Mount Zion High School in Jonesboro. Georgia wins after a decades long battle with Alabama and Florida. The U.S. Supreme Court unanimously says Florida loses in the water wars. Neighboring states, Alabama and Florida, accusing Georgia of sucking too much water out of the Chattahoochee River, harming the states downstream. This morning's ruling written by the newest justice, Amy Coney Barrett, says Florida did not prove its case that Georgia farmers Overuse of water harmed the Apalachicola oyster harvest or any other river species. Georgia lawmakers wrapping up their work just after midnight. Signy die, as it's all called, the 2021 legislative session now in the books, but not before lawmakers approved several bills. Among them, college athletes in Georgia can now receive financial compensation for their likeness. There is a bill that limits cities and counties from reducing law enforcement budget by more than 5% in a year, and a bill that repeals Georgia's citizen arrest law, which was introduced after the brutal killing of Ahmaud Arbery. All right, check your fridge. There's a recall on a brand of hummus that everyone seems to like. It's called Sabra, and they're recalling certain 10 ounce containers of the classic hummus, not the ones with anything else in them, just the classic. A routine screening finding potential salmonella in one tub, although no one's reported getting sick. The recall applies to hummus produced February 10th, the classic, with a best before date of April 26th. And it is opening day for your Atlanta Braves. It's the first time since 1968 that all 30 teams are starting on the same day. Your Braves, though, looking to win the fourth consecutive National League East title. Of course, everyone's hoping they'll go even further. It all starts with a matchup against the Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. So they are starting away. They'll be back here at home next week. All right, with that said, Ella, you have time to work on that forecast for the Braves home opener. What are you thinking for this weekend, too? Uh, it's going to be really nice this weekend. But first, we got to make it through the next 24 hours. Very windy today. Wind chills don't make it out of the 40s. Overnight tonight, the wind will slowly die down, but it's going to get really cold. In fact, we're going to see temperatures below freezing tomorrow morning, upper 20s to low 30s. Because of that, there is a freeze warning out for Metro Atlanta and most of North Georgia. Bring your potted plants indoors or they may sustain damage. Tomorrow, it will be sunny, but it will be cool with highs only in the mid 50s. But we continue this warming trend into the weekend. But Easter Sunday, we're sitting at 71 degrees. We're not going to see a single drop of rain over the next week. And we'll hit 80 degrees for the first time this year next Wednesday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Homes, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.